This is this should be a good one. This is a long video, Jesus. 22 minutes. US presidents rank the Halo franchise tier list. This should be good. Do you want to play now? I don't even know, bro. There's nothing to fucking play anymore. There's always a few good games. No, there isn't. The amount of time I spend staring at my Steam library contemplating one mediocre option or another is frightening. That's probably why I fall asleep on my keyboard so often. Maybe. Retro games are the only games that bring me joy beyond getting a W. Uh, indie True, games. Even that gets boring, especially when you gotta carry Joe's geriatric ass. You know, for a fact, <laughs> I'm a killer in the streets and in the sheets. Stay out of kids' beds, Joe. Why can't Whoa. we go back to the old days where you could pop Halo 3 into the old Xbox 360 and put on a custom game of Fat Kid? with a full lobby of degenerates that had no filter whatsoever. Damn right. I've heard the most Damn unholy right. unholy rhetoric in those lobbies. All As it should be. Evacuated from every person in the lobby the first time the game was canceled by somebody pressing X at the very last second yes. to cancel the countdown. Yes, yes. It's a good thing those those voice chats were not recorded because there's be a, there would be a lot of people in courtrooms right now if, if we could hear what they had said back in those Halo 3 lobbies. I'll admit I would try to press X at the very last possible time, pretty much always. God, yeah. I miss those toxic lobbies. And yep. of course I miss PK. We all miss it. Franchises died so tragically. Want to do a Halo tier list? That's a great idea, Joe. Good times. Ask for a waifu list. Uh, let's look at these tier list options. We have Spartan 117, Arbiter, Banshee, Cortana, Didac, Flood. These are our options. I mean... Yeah, I, I I I like the idea they have with the the placing of the tier list, but Cortana should be the very top one, maybe under Spartan One One Seven. But I mean, that's just me. I'm just biased. What can I say? That's a great idea, Joe. And you didn't even ask for a waifu list. Cortana is a munch, though. Are we counting everything three four Facts. three did to destroy their own reason for existing? Yes, we, we have to count it. Three four three Halo. Yes. Yes. If anyone at three four three is watching, fuck you. Agreed. Okay, let's start with where it all began. Halo. Combat Evolved. Halo Combat Evolved was amazing for the time that it came out, obviously, but I don't think it necessarily holds up well against a lot of the newer Halo games. Uh, a mid. It's mid. Banshee or Cortana? I remember when this game came out like it was yesterday. That Pistol was overpowered. Was before the dementia started kicking in. Regardless. Good one. I still have precious memories of being blown away playing this game for the first time. The campaign was awesome. It felt like they went above and beyond in every new mission. The introduction of the flood was done so well it actually gave me the creeps big time. I was truly True. frightened seeing the covenant massacre. The flood was and, done and well, although annoying at times, was but it was done to burst well. around a corner and kill me. The atmosphere was unlike any game that came before. Each yep. enemy had a unique role and style which made fights extremely interesting. Yes. The elites were tougher than Rosie O'Donnell's cankles. The campaign they, was great. No they weren't that strong. Really speak of though. It was so long ago that multiplayer wasn't really as important as building the world. Hey, dumbasses, there was multiplayer. It was a blast. Uh, Halo Combat Evolved didn't have online multiplayer, I believe. It only had like split screen and LAN. There was no Xbox Live at that time because it was still on the original Xbox. Yeah, but you had to be co-op or on System Link in the same network. Yeah, yeah, there I you go. I guess you didn't have too many friends. I got on the land with all of the boys and had days of fun on Blood Gold. Damn, talk yeah, your I shit. Yeah, you did. It's not like there was anything else to do in Delaware. <laughs> hey, fam. What's up, George? What's up, hey, George? Man, we are doing a Halo tier list. You want in? Looks like I got in just in time. Still Damn on right. evolved, huh? Yeah, it just started. What do you think? I'll tell you what. It was only a couple months after 9-11 that this game hit the shelves. You <laughs> bring up 9-11 in every video, bro. <laughs> At that time, I was used Let to those Resident people Evil rest in peace. Doom or Quake. Nothing had a feel like Halo. Halo was there for this country when we really needed it. I see you with these retro games, Bush. I was always a gamer at heart. Too bad esports didn't exist back then. Or Unlucky. Than the ninja right now. So where do we Unlucky. place Halo 1? I'm biased, so I'll leave this one up to y'all. I think we all are. Well, I'm not going to say S tier right away. Sure no, this was it's an not S tier. It came out, but it does show its age a little bit. Not a it shows its age. It doesn't hold up super well against the new ones. Again, I think Banshee Tier is where I'd put it. A lot of multiplayer modes or access. Where the fuck are you putting it then? And choose your words carefully. Don't worry, Joe. I'm simply saying it should be an A tier to leave room for the peak of the franchise. I feel like that's fair. I'm that's totally fair. Agree, I can live with that. Feel right. Very I can live with that. Donnie. Okay, yeah, fair. Now the one and only Halo 2. Okay, this might be one of the uh, best video games of all time. First of all, no. Um, I don't even think it's anywhere close to being the best Halo game of all time, personally. 
Uh, although Halo 2 did add interesting things. It added in dual wielding. I think it was the first game to have online multiplayer. Um, but I don't think it was the best. Not even. I, I mean, let's hear what they have to say. There's no argument against that. I spent the better part of my presidency roasting kids online in this masterpiece. George, they couldn't find you for weeks after Hurricane Katrina. Is this the explanation? I was 100% trying to beat the game on Legendary with all skulls on during that time. Totally worth it. The new weapons were awesome. The addition of the SMG made close True. encounters SMG's doable great. without a shotgun. New enemy vehicles were insane, too. The Ghost and Banshee were instant classics. I forget about that. The Ghost and Banshee were not in the original Combat Evolved. Those were actually introduced in Halo 2 also. That's true, actually. But the Wraith and Scarab were next level. Don't forget the Halo Facts. 2 battle rifle. The best weapon in Halo history. Facts. Also, dual wielding was fucking metal. Uh that's true, actually. Uh, maybe I'm not giving Halo 2 enough credit. Halo 2 added in so much legendary shit. I think I wasn't giving Halo 2 enough credit, actually. These guys are kind of convincing me otherwise. Of course, the additions were great, but the biggest strides made by Bungie were in the campaign and storytelling. Being able to play as the Arbiter and understand his story. I forgot about that, yeah. First time he plays the Arbiter. It gives you like a whole different perspective of the Covenant because in Halo Combat Evolved, the Covenant are just like the bad guys and like you kill the bad guys because they do the bad thing and it's not like elaborated any further than that but in halo 2 you see both sides of the story and you get to see um the entire human covenant war from the perspective of the covenant and from the perspective of the arbiter which gives you like a whole different appreciation for what you're fighting against so i kind of agree actually we began to understand him and the other poor souls. I think this in might be S tier. The characters introduced in the Covenant story are. I think they've, they've convinced the me. Their story made the stakes so much higher from the human perspective. It was easy to dismiss the enemies as fodder monsters, but this new perspective gave the enemies new life. We should talk music. This soundtrack helped great make soundtrack Halo is always the that it is. all the me games the have a great soundtrack into the bathroom and sing the halo voices true i'll be Same. honest giving the covenant back their bomb was my favorite moment in video gaming history oh a that's a fucking banger ass cutscene. biblical the way they even added character to the fucking flood remarkable he felt like talking to the devil and yep. it made sense that you could communicate with him considering he is a grave mind this story was Makes so sense. good we already know it's S tier. S tier is fine, actually. Yeah. Purely because of Sergeant Johnson. Oh, I know what the ladies like. True. Big Dick Johnson is a. Oh, I know girl. what the ladies okay, like. Now three. This is where Halo became a dynasty. I True. was glad that I ended my second. Halo three was when Halo became what it is today. Halo two was legendary in all the ways that they previously mentioned, but Halo three took everything Halo two did and made it public more public and made it mainstream i think halo 3 if halo 2 is going into 117 tier i think halo 3 goes into 117 tier also second term and could finally ride off into the sunset painting portraits and playing custom games with my fellow americans yeah it was the happiest the time forge in my life. was nothing was special but that's fine country and also get better than anyone else on the planet at this game man it took dedication you got so good with the sniper that I developed hatred for you as an individual. Yeah, I'll admit it. Is, it was I'm not going to lie. That was me with some of my friends playing like Halo Reach and Halo 4. Some of those guys would kill me with weapons so much that I, I started to dislike them as a human being. It was hard to like someone that always hit a trick shot to win the 1v1. Yeah, yeah, it was only when you were on my team that we became brothers. It was True devastating. That, man, we would never have hung out if it weren't for this game. In many ways, it was the reason why you even became vice president in the first place. Damn right. These games were so great that they low-key shaped this country in more ways than you would expect. Honestly, you guys always made me he's not even wrong. Games. <laughs> fucking classic. That's fucking diabolical. You did get pretty good at it, to be honest. You always got Joe first, at least. No fair. I always used a shotgun, had to get down and dirty. Not in that game type, Joe. But really, there was nothing like the hours spent on the multiplayer. Yeah. And the campaign was just, just as special. good as the last game. Not having the elites was kind of depressing. Yeah. It made combat so different without them. It was still peak, though. Everything it was great. we lost in the elites was made up by vehicular manslaughter. A lot of really good Easter eggs in the Halo 3 campaign, obviously, and then the skulls are there, too. Um, and there's nothing quite like grinding out the achievements of the Halo games to get the katana piece on your back. That's also a special. That's a special experience. And when you saw somebody with the katana piece, you knew they were nutty. 
and you were afraid if they were on the other team. True that. Pulling up on some fools in a chopper was amazing. The chopper is a great vehicle. Each level had its own atmosphere and a unique look that made the experience feel so life. True. Trying to get Cortana back the whole game was so flavor. It yes. was annoying that she kept popping up, to be honest. But fighting through the flood um, hype to yeah. save her was pretty fucking cool. That yeah. level made me want to puke. It was awesome. Dude, the Arbiter silencing the Prophet was the most satisfying thing ever. Facts. Man, the ending Warthog run was the most chaotic drive ever. The yes. music blasting as everything collapsed around you was a perfect climax to the campaign. Also, it was a shame that the GOAT Sergeant Johnson met his end yeah. that fucking floating robot head. Yeah, three, four, guilty, three, spark guilty Spark took him out, yeah. It's almost like they knew 343 three was going to kill everything we knew. Oh. <laughs> is there any objection for putting Halo 3 in S tier? If there is, I have a surface-to-air missile that could make a visit to an address. Oh, no need, shit. Joe, I also feel like you were talking to me there. I heard a comment that wasn't positive, and I almost sent it your way right then. Put the military Goddamn. laptop away, Joe. Oh, look who's talking. Fuck off. <laughs> All right, now the game that's kind of a DLC, but not really, Halo 3 ODST. Halo 3 ODST is actually one of my favorite campaigns. I'm not even going to lie. Um, the somber, like, attitude, it, it's such a change. Like, it's such a shift. First of all, it's the first Halo game where you don't play as a Spartan and you don't play as the Master Chief. So those two things alone make it very different. But it's, like, the first time where you're seeing the the Covenant human war from, like, a more humanistic perspective rather than from the perspective of like a super soldier who is cracked out of his mind and like no matter who's up against him it's it's a piece of cake right because the chief is nutty he's cracked everybody knows that but you're playing as an odst like this is just a human he's not he's not enhanced he doesn't have the uh the genetic enhancements that um or augmentations that's the word i'm thinking of he doesn't have the augmentations that master chief and the other spartans have He's just an ODST, he's a super soldier. Seeing the war from that perspective was like a completely, was like, it was a complete change of pace. And then you fight in the city of New Mombasa, it's almost always dark. You have the night vision visor, the music is really somber. It's, it's a really big change of pace, but I think it's a really good change of pace. I think to this day, Halo ODST is one of my favorite campaigns in the Halo franchise. Just because of it's different, but it's done so well. This shit fucking slaps tits. My not at all guilty pleasure, my favorite of the whole franchise. That's respect. And the firefight was the amazing also. Difficulty and lowered defenses of the ODSTs was great. It put the yes. carnage we dished out to the Covenant as Master Chief in context. That's that's true. It lowered the defense and damage of the ODST so you didn't feel like a super soldier. You felt like a human. And that was a big part of why the game felt so good also. Because you, you felt like a human fighting aliens rather than a, a genetically augmented super soldier fighting humans. Or fighting aliens, rather. That, that was a big difference. The characters weren't bad. No, and the story was cool. I loved the part with the engineer. I blew that thing's fucking brains out on principle. Do you have a fucking soul, Don? It heals my enemies. It's an enemy. You fucking it's bastard. It's an enemy. They were innocent slaves. Come the fuck they on. They were innocent You're slaves. You're going to sit here and say that's not okay when you all shot hundreds of thousands of grunts in their innocent little faces and screamed hooray grunts when the confetti innocent. flew? Okay, yeah. Damn, I was... I mean, we, we everybody ran the birthday party school. I mean, let's be honest. Grunt birthday party was an essential. Not prepared for that equivalency. It's not the same. The grunts can defend themselves. It's not the same. So you've never shot one that was running away after you slaughtered all his friends. Well, you got to get to the next round somehow. Firefight was the best of all game modes in Halo. I also Firefight was very fun. Engineer I've ever seen. Man up, pussies. That was based as fuck, George. I gotta respect it. I don't disagree. Firefight was the most Chad mode ever. I would go rounds with Barack. Yeah, Firefight was Don't lit. say it like that. And you took all the fucking health packs in the first wave. Get carried. Still an STD. <laughs> Get carried. Enough said. Very good. Now the last yeah. Halo game made by Bungie Halo Reach. Now this is my favorite. The last true Halo. It was everything. Campaign, multiplayer, firefight, custom games, and an epic Forge world. I spent hundreds... Obviously Halo Reach had the... Halo Reach is what introduced uh, Forge as it is now into the Halo universe. Uh, it gets points for that. Halo Reach is the second game where you don't play as Master Chief, but it's the first game where you play as a Spartan that's not Master Chief, which you get points for that also. 
And the characters in Noble Team are all very like unique and interesting in their own ways. And you get like attached to each of them as individuals rather than them just being like nameless super soldier characters that just died throughout the course of the story. I think Halo Reach has arguably the best campaign in the Halo series. I, I think you could make a strong argument for it being the best campaign. I think you can make a very strong argument for that. Hundreds of hours just fucking around on that map. There isn't a spot where this game is lacking. It took everything yeah. we loved in the previous game. It does game everything it well. Of options for the multiplayer is great too. The campaign had the feels of a war movie and it got more and more hopeless as you lost your friends. Yes. The sacrifices of Noble Team had me tear they up. They die one times. by one. Each one of them had amazing sacrifices for the cause. Yes. Except June who actually survived and everybody low key didn't notice. Yeah, June just kind of disappears towards the end, and everybody forgets that they existed at all. Cat's death was so sad. It also gives tribute to all the times we went down to a fucking jackal sniper. George was my yes. favorite. Thanks, Joe. I meant the OP Spartan. I was really good at this game. You are correct. Fuck you, the one with the minigun. That's my favorite weapon. How'd you know? Right. How'd you Stop know? Stop it, George. You'll kill him. Sorry, Joe. Carter was a great <laughs> leader. It was awesome to see how he dealt with an impossible situation as the perfect yes. soldier. Emil was metal as fuck. Not to... I think the st uh, uh, even if you don't agree that it's the best campaign, I think the story, like the lore and the story setting of Reach is the best of the games. It's the most interesting, in my opinion, even if you don't agree that it's actually the best campaign as a whole. I do think it's the most interesting. To mention the elites were back and better than ever. Every species had its own hierarchy and special forces. This was peak PVE combat in Halo. Best yes. firefight ever, too. We got to put it in ST. I didn't really play firefight right, cool. in Halo no, Reach, Brock, I'll be honest. Don't do it. What, Donnie? Don't put me through it again. Just let Halo die with Bungie. Don Bungie didn't die. Oh, no, 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 no. Isn't he that dude that talks way too fast? We're not done. Uh, I can't understand him at all, but we I know he was We have to talk about 343's no, Bungie. It's another shooter. Pretty mid. Oh, yeah, like I said, let it die with Halo. No, Donnie, we got to cover the whole franchise. We got to cover so the whole franchise, Donnie. Different. How we're not we done like halo wars there we i never played halo wars or halo wars 2 but from what i've seen they're actually pretty solid rts's go this game was big brain i never understood this game that's because you have no mind for military strategy that's why pulling out of afghanistan was a fucking again disaster. i never played them got so play fuck you guys but it's i heard a like lot of George people really liked them either bit who the fuck you think you're talking to you've got fucking nothing on operation desert storm you were there based on a lie anyway it was for oil numb nuts if anything, you're proving my point. Guys, can we get back to Halo? Yeah, this game was pretty tight once I got into the swing of things. The campaign was also pretty great. Facts. Great story, great characters. Too bad this game was lacking in game modes. It was pretty much just a campaign or playing sweats online. But each battle yeah. was so unique that it made up for the lack of options. Meh. How would you rank it, Don? I'd be at C tier, mid. I'd be higher. I spent a lot of time on this game, and my Desert Storm Scorpion Blitz was unstoppable. I can get down with <laughs> Desert that. Desert Storm agree on Scorpion That's Blitz. Fine. Great. I don't know. Okay, how about Halo Wars 2? Again, a never played it. villain into the story again, and I am very grateful for that. Although Halo 2, I think, or not Halo 2, Halo Wars 2 is the first game that introduced uh, the Banished uh which obviously comes back in Halo Infinite as like a very relevant enemy um so it has to get points for that Atriox finally brought and some Atriox. Balls back to Halo after years this campaign was fucking metal I watched the cutscenes on YouTube yeah me too and I got to say I was jealous that I couldn't figure this game out yeah missed out the story was very refreshing considering what was being released on the FPS side of Halo. 343 nearly brought me back in with this game. Almost. But the other games made me die inside. That shouldn't hurt this game. It was very well done. I still didn't appreciate the game outside the campaign. Come on, Donnie. The multiplayer was better. It didn't make a lot of progress on that front. Yeah. Plus 343 tried to cash grab it with the True. card game in the they new did. mode. Yeah. Not cool. I okay, remember but that. You could still yeah. just not play that mode. Uh, plus some of the armies you could buy made it kind of pay to win. You could still win games with Captain Cutter. Yeah, but the guys for money usually had better stuff. Uh, pay to win. I still think it's an improvement. Yeah, better than last game. Not perfect. So a -tier. I agree. I'd be a B tier. I think it's better than the first one, but. I'd be cool with either. I'll be the tiebreaker and say it's A tier. Can we talk Fair. about the real game again? Yes, Joe, but you a bitch for that. Don't do this <laughs> to me. Halo 4. Fuck. This game missed the mark. Three so Halo 4 gets a lot of hate. 
Um, I think it gets more hate than it deserves, but I do understand why people don't like it. I personally really love the story direction that Halo 4 tried to take. I think adding in the side story of Cortana and Master Chief and Cortana going rampant and Master Chief learning to deal with maybe not having Cortana as a companion anymore. I think that storyline was very, very interesting. The only problem I have with that is that that storyline was so interesting that it made the whole Didact Forerunner storyline look uninteresting by comparison. Not to mention fighting the Forerunners in the actual campaign was very unenjoyable. The design of the Forerunners just made them tedious as fuck to fight and they're most of the campaign. So most of the time you're just fighting like super tedious, like unfun enemies the entire time. But I, the storyline itself, I don't have an issue with yet. It's not till you get to Halo 5 that I start to have a problem with the story, but I like the direction they went with the storyline. Uh, I just think a lot of the gameplay aspects were kind of flawed. 343 inherited the best video game franchise ever. Their entire reason for being. Yeah. They just decided to up and change everything. It tried to make it they like didn't every change other everything. When the no. point was, it was Halo, not another shooter. It wasn't the like that. Was dreadful. The Prometheans weren't fun to fight against. True. They weren't that easy, weren't that hard. True. Uh, they were kind of cool looking, I guess. They were cool looking. They just looking. didn't seem like Halo enemies. They just weren't fun. At least Cortana was hot as fuck. Cortana Whatever, Joe, was go bad. Go stick your dick in a projector. Seriously, though, the emotional moments between Chief yeah. and Cortana were so close. I think the emotional moments, I, I, I genuinely think the storyline between Chief and Cortana was the best part of this entire game. To the moments they shared in the previous installments. Yes. It's just a shame that the gameplay was so god awful that the gameplay was not good. Loved was already gone by the time yeah. they made strides on an emotional level. They yes. were doing too much of that emotional shit. It became annoying. You're right, Joe. I didn't need to know or care about a random scientist or a librarian. I needed stakes and a coherent plot. Although I give Halo 4 props for being the first game that really introduces the Prometheans and the Forerunners into the storyline. They're talked about a little bit in the earlier games, but you don't really hear too much about it. But Halo 4 is the first game where they really kind of dig in to what the Forerunners are and like the impact they've had on the story up until this point. Uh, which, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy. I really love the, the Forerunner Promethean storyline in the Halo games, but that storyline alone is not enough to to like save it from the flaws that it had. With an interesting conflict, and I didn't get a single one of those things. Right. And even worse was we got elites back, but they didn't even look or act like Yeah, elites. they didn't like feel the same. Foods. Even yeah. the cutscenes were pretty mid. The acting was the best part, but it just didn't even matter at that point. All was lost. Multiplayer was okay. Not as good as any of the previous six games though. The only issue I had with Halo 4 multiplayer was that it gave you like class customization, which is not like class customization is not a bad thing inherently. But with Halo, I think the idea is that everyone starts on the same playing field and then you like maneuver and take points around the map to get advantages over each other by like picking up weapons and vehicles and stuff. Uh, but in Halo 4, it let you just pick whatever gun you want. Not whatever gun, but like it let you pick your loadout. And so everybody had something different. And I didn't really like that. This was the start of the very end for Halo. It wasn't even worth it to have an Xbox anymore except to play uh, the previous Halo That's harsh. Games. I don't agree with that. I think it's really bad, but not the worst of these, these later games. I still think F tier. I'm not quite at F. It's not F tier. C tier. What little the campaign achieved with acting in its cutscenes keeps it out of F tier, in my opinion. I would disagree, but the most F tier has yet to show itself, so I'll let it break into D tier. True. Just barely. That sounds good. Okay, cool. Now, uh, Halo 5? Why does everything I love fucking die? Yeah, <laughs> Halo 5 was bad. was hot garbage. Okay. Yeah, okay. Halo 5 was a bad positives one. positives for this game before all the negatives? Uh, the gunplay felt good. Seriously? I guess the cutscenes were kind of cool looking. The gunplay felt That's good funny. and the cutscenes were cool. I was actively cool. rooting against all the humans. The story was stupid. The characters were mid. story was bad. Was characters were mid. It was a boring Power Ranger game. It was boring. Halo. The combat was trash and was made for a much faster paced game than Halo. They tried to turn Halo it into Call of Duty, if I like. I see why you got to change the entire flow of the game simply because you want to test out some boosts yeah. and climb all over the map. To their credit, there was a ton of customization. 
Too bad True. most of that looked like fucking shit. It wasn't very good, though. Game modes, at least. Warzone was another pay-to-win game, but this time it was ten times worse than any other game I can think of currently. You just hate pay-to-win stuff because your dad never let you use the credit card for anything. Fuck off, Donnie. You Trump and your is small toxic. Loans. I'm good kidding, to know. Georgie. I, I didn't give a fucking dollar to 343 outside buying Halo 4 at launch. And I guess I bought some stuff in Halo Wars 2. An infinite fuck. It hurts to be a fan nowadays, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. Not Halo infinite. Halo 5 played so fast that all these 10-year-old zooming little shits were killing me over and over again. Yeah. My previous Halo Can't keep skills up. didn't Your translate brain is to this too game slow. at all. You weren't that good, but you're still right about that. Put this fucking game away like everyone else did after a week or less. F tier, it goes bye-bye. Okay, yeah. guys, before we move on to infinite, we should mention... Um, the Master Chief Collection. It's just all the good games. It's together, all the good Halo games remastered. F-tier, yeah. They shouldn't touch. Come on, Donnie. This came. It's not F tier. I disagree. I enjoyed the fuck out of this remaster. Have you ever played on Legendary? Shit was literally impossible. True. That shit was way harder than any Halo game I've ever played. What's the point if the Jackal Sniper? That's a skill kills issue. The second he can see you. It skill like issue. A skill diff. Fuck yeah, off, skill diff. I'm I with thought George. we put this in B tier because then just because of the remaster, plus this shit was so buggy when it came out. Not to mention it takes up most of the space on your console, no matter what you have. That's we true, also actually. We put Combat Evolved Remastered in B alongside Why are they doing all the remastered games? I here, $60 for a graphics update. That's cool. Yeah, that's me. absurd. Is there any fringe game that we want to mention? Spartan Assault or anything? Not really worth it. They yeah. were kind of fun, but twin stick shooters haven't been good since you physically had to go to an arcade. Well, I tend to agree with Don here. Let's move yeah, past Yeah, I'm with okay, Donnie. How about Infinite? I thought it was okay, but... I actually really like the Halo Infinite campaign. I was disappointed that they didn't have co-op on release because I really wanted to play co-op with my friend. Uh, uh, but it was like it wasn't going to come out for like a year or a year and a half. And so we never got the chance to play co-op. That was really disappointing. But the campaign itself, I thought was really good. Uh, the multiplayer, the gunplay in the multiplayer felt really good. But the progression system and like the cosmetics and all the like the battle pass and all that shit was just awful. And so I just stopped playing it. But a huge disappointment at the same time. It's like exactly how my father feels about me. It's yeah. Pretty mid there was yeah. nothing infinite about this shit. If anything, the enjoyable time in this game is very finite. I finished yes. the game in like five hours and then spent a couple hours in multiplayer before I was right back to thinking Halo is dead. Halo yeah. finite. It's unfortunate, but true. Halo there was no near enough content on launch. There was like four multiplayer modes. It was very disappointing. Who thought that was acceptable? Let's be honest, though. The gameplay returns to form a little bit. Definitely a little bit. a whole lot better than the last two games. I, better I than Halo 5, I agree. Uh, obviously, Don is too consumed with his hatred to enjoy a new experience, but I think this uh, this was a very good campaign that hit on all the The campaign was good, I agree. The previous two tried to be on, but matched it with good gameplay. I did enjoy this campaign, Joe. I just didn't like everything. Why Atriox wasn't the main villain or final boss fight is completely yes. puzzling. To me. They fucked up big with the introduction to the campaign. First of all, they don't tell you shit about what happened to Cortana until like halfway through the campaign. And they just completely disregard what happened at the end of Halo 5, which I can't really blame them. The end of Halo 5 was scuffed as fuck and I don't blame them for wanting to delete it. Uh, but it still was weird. But yeah, the fact that you get rid of both cortana and atriox off screen like during cutscenes and during like lore outside lore terminals or whatever i think that's fucked up i think both of those characters if you are going to get rid of them you have to do it properly and i don't think they did it properly with either of them some random brute saying he was dead made me want to stop yeah, playing like, what especially the after the intro of him beating chief to a They're like atriox is dead Don you're like what case. I didn't want to get faked out at the end in a spoken reveal for the next game that Atriox is actually alive. Reds versus blues again, huh? Although yeah. red versus blue was tight, it I was. agree with them mostly. I will admit that the gameplay was almost on par with the legends in S tier right now. But uh, I can't say the I was gameplay blown was very good by this game in any capacity. No forge, no firefight, no forge, no infection on launch. Yeah, yeah. Although a few of those things came with time, nothing they came was later, as grand as it was before. But they should have music all been there. I don't the think beginning. music, music was, was bad good. in any Halo. I just didn't notice the music in the last two Halos because I was too busy hating what I was playing. Fair enough. All right, Fair so enough. The general yeah. consensus is that this game was good. It was just under our expectations. I think you're being generous. It was a cool campaign on a mid game. Okay, so what are we thinking? After everything is, is accounted for, 
I think a C tier is in order. I'm okay with that. I'd yeah, I'm, I'm actually okay, okay with that too. All right, guys. Accurate list. We done? Not quite yet, Don. You can't mean it. I do. Barack, what's I swear what's to left? God, if you are about to do what I think you're about to do. How do we feel about Halo the series? Jesus fucking oh, Christ. I almost no. just said a big gamer word. This is a new low for you, bro. I'm disappointed. Guys, it's officially Halo. I forgot about Barack, this. I want to hit you in your smug fucking head with a gravity it, hammer right now. I'm not the one that hurt you, Don. He's right. 343 signed off on this abomination. The fact that you'll even acknowledge the presence of this show in front of the heroes in S-tier is why I have a fucking problem with you, Barack. I just remember all the memes with, like, Master Chief's ass being out. That's all I can remember. I guess he was a horn dog in the show. Why, Donnie? What was wrong with it? Okay, now you're just baiting us. I couldn't even get myself to hate watch this fucking shit pass. Yeah, Like honestly. four or five episodes. Paramount and whoever wrote this should have their brains studied because science might be able to weaponize this level of fucking stupid. Not one character was good, not one. M. Night. Shyamalan did a far better job converting Avatar to live action, and he mispronounced all the names intentionally. I can't true. remember any of it because staying awake while watching this show is an impossible task. That's yeah. even true for me. Watching paint dry is like Shawshank Redemption compared to this shit. Bro, these guys are talking their shit. shit. Oh my cool. god. I can't begin to remember any of the new characters because they all have no passion for this runaway cosplay. Yeah. The Chinese girl is terrible. It was physically painful to watch her scenes. The Covenant Karen was the worst idea they could have possibly had. Like, what the fuck? Did the writers actually want me to hate the UNSC and root for the Covenant? I found the race swapped Lasky's to be extremely boring and pointless. What? How far did you guys even get in this show? I didn't Too even far. watch it. I don't it. remember the end, though. I waited for it to get good, but it was like the show wanted to be unwatchable more than anything. I'm considering that it was revenge toward Halo fans from 343. They just wanted to get one more punch to the gut in before they dismantle in a few years. Yeah. I couldn't get past when Master Chief had sex. I said, what am I even watching anymore out loud Aren't and turn Spartans it off forever? Don't forget to cancel uh, your Paramount Plus account. Yeah, those people suck. I thought, Bill Gates not is also celibate, but like, asshole. they can't yeah, have kids. Apparently Bill Gates is behind literally all this shit just because his son liked the game. What a fucking little prick. This was the nail in the coffin for Halo fans. I thought I would never stop loving this franchise, but it's over. I'm not, I'm not waiting around for years, waiting for the possibility that the devs will make an update to fix Infinite and make everything no, okay again. I'm not it's just not going to it. happen. It's dead. Why is this shit yeah. not an F tier yet? Oh, sorry. It's not like it was ever a real debate. I'm still pissed it's even listed. But yeah, I, guess I it kind can of agree. With, uh, Halo 5 down there. Okay, Donnie, I know I've just tortured you with that one, so I'll give you a reprieve. How do we like Halo Legends? Okay, Legends was pretty dank. Uh, Legends actually was pretty good. Stuff, though. That's what's great to me about these anthologies with different art styles. You get to play around with different settings and physics to try and make a great story. I loved when Star Wars Visions came out. I'm in the same yeah, boat. Both Halo I like Star Wars classic. Visions also. I'm even a fan of the cringy anime in this. There's yeah, a super me too. suit story that was amazing. That in the sniper mission with the, the Lady Spartan was incredible. I thought it was all solid. We definitely could have used more of it recently. Too bad that would be both a good direction for the franchise and highly profitable. Yeah, three, yeah, four, three, can't do that. Doing that shit a while. Can't have those. What do we think? I'm saying S tier. Uh, no, Joe, I wouldn't be at S, more of an A tier. Yeah, yeah A or B. If everything was as good as the super suit episode, then I'd say S, but A tier is good. I, I think A tier is good. Any other media from Halo? Can you put red versus blue in A tier? Oh, sure, we Joe, love that. We they love RVB, bro. Everybody Halo loves RVB. So much fan made it's content so fun dude that that series that is so good way more passion it has its ups and downs but as a whole the series okay, is cool. amazing good call joe anything else is just trailers and shit that never got off the ground yeah okay, guys we did it why am i depressed now it was heavy why am through. i depressed wounds are still healing i'm really sleepy after that well i hope all the viewers enjoyed it well if they aren't here now they probably didn't let us know if you did i'm trying to figure out if y'all like longer form content i do Remember, folks spartans I do. never die they i can tell you i love long games. form content it's my favorite i thought that was a pretty good video actually list wasn't terrible we'll subscribe and uh upvote